Are you having an issue with your uh, GPU drivers? If you use NVIDIA, this tool is for you. This will let you not only customize your driver installation down to which components get installed, but it'll let you choose any driver version. Uh, so you can actually roll back to specific drivers and it'll completely erase everything before it and install the latest or whichever specific driver you want to set. It's a super cool tool and I'm excited to show it to you guys. Before I get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. So we're going to go to the Tech Power Up NV Clean Install uh, site. I'll put a link to this in the description and you can see some screenshots here of what it'll let you do. But I'm going to go ahead and download and install this so I can show you for myself. Uh, let's go ahead and click on the download button here. And we'll choose the one with the lowest load right here. And it's done. It's a very small file. So now we see which graphics hardware we have. So our actual GPU, our current driver, and uh, some of the features supported and whether it's a studio driver or the regular mode driver. So right now we can choose to install the best driver for my device or manually select the version. And we can actually go through here and see all the different versions in the past. And if we go to show all versions, it takes a little while to load. You can actually go all the way back to 391.35. Now, obviously no one's gonna be doing that, but you can basically just choose which driver you want, usually the best driver for device, and then you can go ahead and click on next. So I'm gonna choose next here. And this is where it gets really cool. You can actually customize which specific components are installed. So if you want the uh, display driver only, you can just install that. You can choose to install PhysX, HD audio via HDMI, the uh, Visual C runtimes, which are needed for some games. Um, you can specifically choose what gets installed and what doesn't. So if you do have a uh, pretty good understanding of your graphics hardware, you can decide what is and isn't worth it. So for example, you don't need to install the driver update notification service and the driver updater to be running all the time. And some people might not even want the GeForce experience. They might just want the display driver only. And other people who maybe play games and need the compatibility might want pretty much everything, right? So uh, let's go ahead and click on recommended here and it'll tell us what we should install. If you do want the GeForce Experience, you can go ahead and click on GeForce Experience here. But again, if you're using this tool, you don't really need the GeForce Experience for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck that. And then we'll click on Next. And just like that, it's gonna copy the installer over. And now that it's downloaded the installer, it gets even better. You can actually tweak the installation by disabling uh, telemetry and advertising. You can have an unattended express installation so you don't have to click on next and everything. You can perform a clean installation to make sure you get rid of all the old uh, drivers and residual files from old installs. You can add driver support for other cards in case you have uh, multiple cards in one uh, computer system and lots more. So let's go ahead and click on next here. And now, uh, another cool part, you can actually start the installation or you can actually build an installer so that you can run this whenever you need to and it'll automatically do exactly the same thing you asked it to with all the same settings. But yeah, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Peace. About a new device, unboxing kudos. We rock that pseudo administrative elevator command. We build it up or break it down in that virtual lab. From conversations to games to interviews with a broader view. He keeps it fresh, always brings something new. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, uh, Mike the Tech, the architect, uh, Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah, Mike the Tech, the architect, uh.